okay after a long time msm extended custom room is back it was the previous update was msm extended 5.0 and now it comes with extended version xrv 6.0 the official version which is available for a lot of devices and i have installed it on my mutual device like redmi note 9 pro it's available for mutual devices also redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9s redmi note 9 pro max poco m2 pro and like that it's available for other devices also poco x3 we have redmi note 8 we have redmi notes and a lot of devices are available for you if you have any of these devices which is official supported or maybe your device has unofficial build it's available for you the latest update is here based on android version 11 as expectedly so the thing is it was a very feature based custom room but now in this update some things are changed here not actually whole customizations are same from the previous builds the default ui is almost same here we have some customizations fonts customizations are still present there and like that we have the normal default wallpaper this normal kind of quick settings which you can of course customize these colors in msm extended previous builds you you could easily customize these colors and yes the option is still present here screen recording is also changed in the normal custom rooms you might get different screen recording where you only get the option of show touches on screen and record audio but we have two other extra options available here for you show stop dot and the lower quality for smaller file size so there are some extra options in screen recording also if you want to do screen recording then the option is available for you the gcam go as a pre-installed camera available in the mutual devices not sure about other devices maybe some devices have the gcam normal some devices have the miui camera some devices might not get all of these things but this is kind of a device specific thing that gcam go is pre-installed if the gcam go is pre-installed so yes almost everything is working in this camera but yes we still have the option to use the gcam i will definitely recommend you use the gcam 8.1 or gcam 8.2 those both gcam cams are quite good the default apps are almost same i'm using the build which includes the google apps so all these google apps are present there some of the google apps are pre-installed some of the apps you can install from the google play store that will be automatically installed after the setup the default launcher is not a pixel launcher by the way as still it's a google apps build but you don't get the pixel launcher we have some extra customizations like the icon pack notification dots and add app icons to home screen the app logger option is not available in the default launcher but the option is present in the security settings in the settings main settings by the way okay now moving on to one more thing cpu throttling test the thing is i'm using it on my redmi note 9 pro which means a mere tool device so the cpu throttling test in your device and this device there might be some differences there of course it depends upon device but the thing is you might get an idea that msm extended still a very good kind of choice for you as it also comes with customizations the battery backup seems to be decent one and of course the performance is not bad too as you can see it's touching at 100 percent a lot of times i always test it with 30 30 seconds to 40 seconds sometimes and yes it's just working fine for me till now in redmi note 9 pro i tested some extra rooms some other rooms in past two days but i wasn't satisfied with those but extended one is looking quite good and satisfactory by the way we have the safety status related options by default the safeness status is passing and it should be passed in other devices also the thing is i haven't installed magisk so if in case it's not passing for you i have a dedicated video on that how you can pass the safeness status if it is not passing for you by modifying the props and a lot more extra options available for you hiding the magic scan a lot more things if only it is not passing for you but if it is passing for you by default then it's quite good in the settings app of course i have tested a lot of things but i was not able to test the battery backup as you can see one day 20 hours ago using from past two days and yes it's not laggy didn't got any kind of lags in my mutual device it also comes with the xiaomi parts maybe in your device you don't get the xiaomi parts but the thing is xiaomi parts is present in many devices it's just quite good some extra features are present there security as i previously mentioned it comes with the face log and app logger etc extensions where we have many kind of customizations the customizations are almost same by the way like the previous one so don't worry about that some theming customizations of course are present here for you 
and like that asin color fonts customization status bar icons customizations almost same customizations which were expected are present there many customizations are same there might be some little bit of features missing but everything else is same you can find out by installing this build on your device link is in the description this is all from today's video i hope you like this if you like it don't forget to like and share this video goodbye Like I'm floating through the air